Hi there guys, it's DJ here, and I'll be doing a deck profile on my first place winning locals deck profile for, well, yesterday I guess, the 15th, no, 14th of August uh, 2014. So yeah, uh, this is a deck profile using the July format, and a new set just came out yesterday, which I bought a box of, and I pretty much got the cards I needed within that box, so yeah, uh, I did my deck a bit from that, well, extra decks mainly, and yeah, uh, doing a deck profile, and basically I bedded up the deck, and I came first place yesterday, uh, with, uh, round, five rounds, and I came first with five wins in total, and no losses, which is pretty good. Okay, start off with deck profile, I run, uh, three Bujin Yamatos, Yamato is your main card for the main card for the deck searches out everything you need and uh, yeah it's pretty well it's your main card pretty much if well the main bougie card as for the other ones I run two Mikazuchi uh, I don't run normally people run one to one to two I like to I like two because uh, I don't mind this card if it's a dead draw or not because I always will have answers for bougies that will be destroyed because either way, if it's destroyed, I can actually just summon this straight away after it's after the Bujin is destroyed and sent to graveyard. Bujin Beast War actually. So if the Bujin Beast War is destroyed, I can immediately summon this card afterwards. Uh, for the other monsters, I run two. Uh, t for the other main Bujin cards, uh, I run two Bujin Hirame. Hirame, in my opinion, is what makes Bujins now more competitive. And with Lightning Prison Mirror, this card can actually get past Lightning Prison Mirror. So it's in there at summon, and you can actually get past it with it. It's no, it's basically no effects. It's just like a, uh, it's it's like a cyber dragon in a way without an effect to summon itself. But it's effect the other effect where you have to uh, I don't know discard I think both play discard. That doesn't really matter too much. You won't really be activating that effect anyway unless you have a bougie turtle or hair in your hand. Then you can discard. But either way. Uh, you wouldn't really need uh, Hirume's second effect, so, yeah. And for last Bujin Beast Warriors, I run one, Arasuda. Arasuda, in my opinion, is not the best card, but it can help if you, uh, I don't know, if you're in a sticky situation, or if you want to play defensive. It's good, it has a big 1900 defense anyway, so it's alright. Uh, as for the other Bujin lineups, uh, for the protection, I run two, Bujin Bujingi Hair. Bujingi Hair pretty much can uh, make sure Bujin monsters not be destroyed by battle or card effects once that turn. You can only activate hairs once per turn if you don't know what hair does. Uh, two turtles. I run two turtles. Uh, turtle pretty much, uh, you can't target the Bujin Beast Warrior or any Bujin monster. If you target a Bujin monster on your side of the field, uh, you can uh, banish turtle and uh, pretty much negate the effect. Uh, you, they've changed the turtle's effect. This is the old text, so they've changed the text where you can't activate it during the damage step. So I just need one more turtle, hollow super turtle, and I'm pretty much gonna take these two out and put in the hollows. So I'll replace them. For the other ones, I run one Quillen. If you're in a tough situation, like if you want to get a Thunder King or something, and you have your Bujin Beast Warrior like your Mato. Summon Quillen, attack the monster, it goes to the graveyard, you lose like 300 points. Uh, you have Beast Warrior on the field, Bougie Beast Warrior, uh, banish Quillen, and destroy the monster, then continue searching. So yeah, it's pretty much it. Pretty much an easy target. Or, if you want to get a, anything that's face up that you want to destroy, you pretty much want to get rid of it. Also, I run three cranes for the honest targets, and uh, yeah, it pretty much doubles the original attack of the Bougie Beast Warrior. And also one honest for the last part of the Bougian cards. Uh, well, Bougian monsters. Uh, Bougian mon the monsters of the Bougian deck. So yeah, uh, as for the spells, I run three Tenki. It's pretty explanatory. Two Carnations. I chose two instead of three. Most people run three, but I run two. Uh, two Kaisers. Kaiser is an amazing card. I've won so many games with this card because it locks down my opponent and they can't really XEs or do anything. They can't synchro, they can't do anything. 
and with Bujin Yamato or Bujin Beast Warriors protected, you can't, they can't really get uh, over the monsters. They have to destroy his card attacks to do stuff. So yeah, it's really, really good. Kaiser is probably one of the best cards in this Bujin deck. But yeah, it, it wins games pretty much. Hands down. Uh, two Lancers, because Lance is Lance, and it's really, really good. Some people run Chalice. Uh, I like Lance. Uh, Chalice and Lance, it doesn't really matter. It's more play, player preference. I like Lance because I like to get my opponent's attack points down if they were to try to uh, do something to me. Also, I can use this on my own monster to protect, protect it, and also I work from spells and traps. Also, I play Crane, so it attacks returns to normal. The boot, the the Bush and Beast Warrior monster will return to normal, and uh, yeah, you can, well, it just returns to normal and then doubles. So, if your mana was on 1800, lands 1000 points attack, then use Crane during damage, calc, and uh, yeah, it goes back to normal, and then 20, no, it goes to 3600. So, yeah, it's pretty explanatory. It's very interesting to explain. Also, I run three MSTs and one Book of Moon. I don't run Dark Hole in this because I don't want to run Dark Hole. And yeah, you don't really need it as much. Dark Hole. Uh, for the traps, I run three Mirror Force because Mirror Force is really Mirror Forcey, and also it's unexpected because your opponent will either think it's a Mirror Force or think it's something else. And f with the current format, for the July format, uh, three Mirror Force and three Deep Prisons, you have to expect the unexpected. Uh, whether your opponent will be playing uh, three Mirror Forces or three Deep Prisons, so expect back row pretty much. Uh, I also run two break crew skills, two black one of heaven, one torrential for summon stopping, uh, bombless trapple and also a solemn warning. Solemn warning basically well the basic line of traps. As for the extra deck, I run two Susano Woes, Susano, uh, you can choose to run three to two, either way, but I like two because I want more stuff in my extra deck. So yeah, uh, 2 Sassan Warriors is pretty explanatory. Uh, you rarely go into the third one unless you really need to. 1 Kakasuchi because it's Kakasuchi and this card works extremely well on Light Swans. I used this card against the Light Swan deck yesterday and uh, yeah, he kept paying Light Swans just to get rid of this card. He had to pay like 3 dollars and I had a like, crane in... no not crane, I had a uh, hare in the graveyard. Protected this once and you had to pay another thousand to get rid of it. Basically, you had to pay like four thousand just to get rid of this card. So, pretty much steals that game. It, but yeah, it, they, it was pretty hard to kill. Uh, also, I run whoop, one Sukiyomi. You rarely get this card out unless you really, really need to. One Tiger King, one Ragnar Zero, one Rhapsody in, Zer in Berserk. Uh, you only bring this card out in dire situations, you don't really need to run it unless you want to manipulate your opponent's graveyard. Uh, one Stylish Pedanamo, one Black Shakorn, one Diamond Die Wolf, one Gagan Gag Cowboy, one Castell, uh, Sky Blaster. This card is probably the newest and the best uh, Xyz monster that came out because its return effect. And Book of Moon effects are really, really amazing because you can detach one uh, XE's material and choose one of your opponent's monsters. Wait, let me double check. I'm still new to me. Target one face up monster in the field. Okay, it could be any face up monster on the field. So you target uh, one of your opponents, but because you're mostly going to use this on your opponent's card or if you want to use it on your own, uh, like a Proton Papal or something like that. Or uh, it's basically a Mistroke, basically. Uh, a better Mistroke. So yeah, uh, Castell. Uh, it's first effect where you detach, you can uh, target one monster field for the face down. And its second effect is what is most important is you can detach two materials and target one face up card on the field. Any face up card, including itself. Wait, any other face up card? Oh, sorry. Uh, target one other face up card, so excluding yourself. So, sorry. So, I'm still it's still new to me, so I'm, I rarely use this card. Well, I mean, I'm not used to this card yet. Uh, but yeah, Castell, Dispatch 2. I used this card against uh, a Quacky Mera deck I played yesterday. And yeah, I returned the Macrocosmos to its uh, 
to the basically to the deck. Basically, you attach to, and uh, yeah, uh, it returns to the deck, and you shuffle. Uh, they shuffle, or yeah, whoever shuffles, whoever's the control of the card that you targeted. So yeah, I sent the Macrocosmos back to deck, and it took me a while to get it. So yeah, uh, anyway, uh, it's really really good card. It's probably the next staple card. Uh, Abyss Dweller, 101, and Exeter Knight. Drake's for 101, and Exeter Knight. Now, for the side deck. Uh, people can choose to run different types of sides for Bougians, and it, it, every side deck is different. You, Every side deck is, one or two cards are probably the same, uh, but mm, some cards can be different depending on how the deck is made. But anyway, uh, for the side deck I run two Fire and Ice Hands. Fire, two fire, two fire ice. Uh, two maxis for uh, anything that's spam, special summons. Uh, two DD Crow, because DD Crow is very, very important in this format. And it gets rid of Shadows and all things that are graveyard, graveyard reliant. So, and one mind control for the spell. Uh, two needle ceilings in case your opponent was going to spam the field. They try and get rid of your monsters at once. I could just go needle ceiling. Ah, your know, your monsters are destroyed. Or and I can just hair and protect it, or lance. Either way, it would not matter. Uh, two raw decrees because I don't like traps in the back row, and also if I'm versing furnies, I want to lock down their traps ASAP so they don't do stuff. And also for the last parts, I run two debunk. Debunk is uh, good for mirror match and anything that relies on the hand effects or in the graveyard effects. So yeah, uh, that's my deck profile on the Bujin deck for. Yeah, my first place locals winning Bujin deck. So yeah, uh, I'm not sure if I'll be able to come first again. It was, I was very lucky to not lose one of my games. Uh, so yeah, I got very sacky. And I in two of my duels I played yesterday, I somehow got, in two of my matches, I somehow got three Yamatos in my hand during the first turn of the match of two games, two matches basically. I started with three Yamatas in two games. That is, and I, and I had an Honest as well, and a Crane, I think? Or Breaker, I can't remember. But yeah, I had all of those, and I was like, wow, this is an uh, interesting hand. So yeah, that happened to me twice during that, those last night, so yeah. Uh, but yeah, uh, rate, comment, and subscribe, and yeah, hope you guys enjoyed my deck profile on Bougians. Yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.